Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer. Welcome back to PCM22. This is the Classics Puncher series and episode number five. After leveling up last time out, uh, we have progressed to now four stars. We are starting to get fairly good. There's a growing chance that we're going to have a varying role in the team, but there's still a lot of quality around us. So I'm not sure that's going to happen just yet, but we are obviously getting closer now than we were before. This is the first time I've looked at our rider page to really see where our potential is, you know, comparative to, well, other riders, I guess you could say. Potential wise, uh, yes, we could absolutely become world class. Not as a stage racer, not as a climber, though we can certainly get to a decent level there. Uh, apparently, we could still become a fairly good time trialer, but we're not going to focus on that. Sprinting will be good capable of getting the occasional type win. So Matthew Vanderpool type sprinting. Maybe not Wild well Van Art type sprinting, but pretty dang close. Puncher wise, we can be very elite, win a lot. And it looks like sky's the ceiling as a classics rider. Peru Bay, Ronde van Vlaanderen, you know, we, we could be going for the monuments and winning them pretty regularly. Now, what I'm curious in though, is how does this look on that web profile? Yellow is where we're at right now. Uh, you can see we're already a pretty good bear door, pretty good sprinter, but very good or getting there when it comes to hills and cobbles. Potential, plenty of room still to grow and kind of right along the lines of right where we're at right now. It's weird that our weakest category is gonna be GC, as a stage racer, which is notoriously what I go for as a primary. So it's very much a different year. Stage one of this four stager, and this would theoretically be our best chance at a victory, but without that mountain rating yet, I, I really don't like our chances this year. Maybe next year, but not not strong enough yet. We, we did just go up a pretty hefty Cat 2 climb took a lot out of me but I did have the teammate roll today and so when you throw that down you know the max the max is is getting lower and lower over time and you can see I haven't really recovered yet though I do expect we'll recover before the next climb but I just have that weak mountain rating that just does not combine well for medium length climbs which good punchers need to be good not only as a puncher with the hills rating but a good puncher needs at least a decent mountain rating and without that this double triple set of medium climbs is going to be too much too much for us so uh, today not likely to be the day but in the future we'll get there we'll get enough of a mountain rating to to be competitive on a day like this. Plus, you know, I, you know, I only have 73 on the hills anyway. Uh, zero on the race day condition today. Here's that recovery coming in before that climb. And then I don't think we'll be around by the time we get to the final climb. Or if we are only just and not really getting any recovery in, you can see still pretty tired. Ferron, look how strong he is compared to me. Down under 100 now, left three riders off the front but they are just right there and we are still two and a half K from the top as Arsenal has fallen back trying to use that hills rating a little bit for the speed boost but you can see the stamina resistance side of it is very much in jeopardy here entering the final kilometer it's about to ease off and the energy just faded we almost made that work I couldn't really go slower because we were too close to the back end to conserve that last little bit of energy. 65 riders left. We are the next rider out there. And the yeah, it's just not happening today. That's okay. I already was predicting that that was going to happen. Uh, but with a couple sprint stages and one mountain stage, we're not going to do anything in this race other than serve as a teammate. So we've had a surprising turn of events here. There was 
four categorized climbs on the first stage. All of them were category two. I had the teammate assignment to work at the front, so I started the race working at the front, and I led over the first of those four climbs. And because all four climbs had identical value, and or all four climbs had different winners, and nobody amassing enough points to overtake that value, I end up in the King of the Mountains jersey, which changed my assignment from teammate to get involved in that KOM and try to earn some points and get in the breakaway. My secondary objective on the day is to finish top 30 on the stage, which with my sprint capabilities is entirely possible in a very, very weak sprint field, even though I'm not particularly fast. But as we do come up now, uh, under 3k to go on the climb here, I've got to set myself up ready to go. I'm going to be one of the better punchers here, but not necessarily the puncher to go. So let's attack now and go all the way towards the line on this one. And good. We got it. Okay. Max points there. That gives me 16 now. Uh, we also have a six and a half minute advantage over the peloton, which you don't see terribly often. Six riders, that's not necessarily enough to hold it at this stage, 120k to go, but uh, you wouldn't rule it out entirely. It certainly gives me a chance to still be involved at the finish line. <laughs> As that gap's already come down to five and a half minutes in a very short period of time here. Points classification coming up. Might want to get involved in that one. No, no I don't. I have no reason to be involved in that one. Gaining time does nothing. It's the end of the stage and those KOMs that I want to sprint for. There we go. Is anybody going to attack this one? Looks like no. Yes. A couple riders do. Twenty K to go to the next and final KOM of the day. Looks like six points should be easy to come by. There was a challenger, it looked like. Uh, last time I just easily beat him to it. Gap just over four minutes now. Gotten a little too small here over the last 30k to think we have much hope of hanging on. But it's not over yet. 7k. Get my water now before we get involved here. Under 6k. 5k. 4k. Okay, fourth wheel. Two and a half k to go to the top of the climb. Third wheel. 1.6. Attack gently at first. A little more gently, please. Whoa, only third. I just got. I just got smashed on that one. Still have the jersey, though. So I will have it for another day. Carol was the one going over the top. He's got lead out. He's got help. I do not. Sitting on for the moment to recover. I will participate going forward because there's still a chance on the stage. KOM part's taken care of. I'll have that jersey another day even though I did not fare well on that third climb running out of red bar just before the finish. Even though I did try to back off but it didn't back off enough. I did intentionally go a little bit early because it was a little more flat. Alright, let's go ahead and start taking turns again. Gap. A little over three minutes. This time, you know, we're holding on a little bit longer. We've completed the breakaway objective at least on the day. And are just 15k away from, and will easily stay away for another 15k from getting maximum status on that one. Now 53. Also, I'm just starting to set into the fatigue, really starting to hamper our uh, chances on the stage. We've dropped one rider. There's a good sign of how good my flat rating is and stamina resistance is compared to some of these other guys. That we're not the first one dropped for a change. 
here in our rookie season. But we are just over two minutes ahead now, so that Peloton's getting awfully close. And with 40k to go, it's just not looking like that's going to happen. It, it is looking very, very likely that we will be caught by the Peloton. But I should have enough energy, if we are caught soon anyway, to uh, still participate in the sprint at the finish. And actually, we're still almost two minutes ahead. They've only brought back about 10 seconds now. But these guys suddenly do not want to work. Really? They've totally given up. We dropped somebody. It's got to be fatigue, maybe? They were slowing down, waiting for that guy. Now it's three. Over the top of that. Let's get water one last time. 30k to go. Still have a minute 24. These guys both trying to attack this. Not getting away from us. I'm not wasting the energy. Now they don't want to work. So this is where I should attack them. Minute 12. But it's 24k. If it was 10k, I would be thinking, come on, come on, come on. That breakaway is not a proper breakaway. I think that's... No, that's not the fight for the sprint point. That's that's an attack. Proper. 20k. Low on energy. Down to Hurl. And I... No hope in the stage now. I've, I don't have enough energy. And he's not contributing. Okay, group of four. The two breakaway riders. Ostergaard and Trax are with me, but 30 second advantage is all we have with 15k to go, and they attack us, leaving us both in the dust. Done with the climbing here in just a moment. It's a basic descent towards the finish from there as Hurl and I come back together, and there's the Peloton now sitting on. Oh, wow, they're going hard. They're going fast as you would expect with just 10k to go. My heart rate just low enough as I drift back to, to get a little bit of recovery here. Drift towards the back. We'll hang on if we can. But with 100 riders here, I just don't like my chances of, of doing much. We're going to have to start speeding up a little bit. 5K. Okay, now speeding up and fixing our position and still somehow recovering a little bit. Two and a half K to go. Slow it down. One and a half K to go. Going forward. And sprinting it out for the finish. Can I get a top 30 still? I think I might. I think I might get that top 30. Venturini takes the stage ahead of Sean Bennett. Ben Thomas. And there's your top 20. But I'm com coming across here in just a moment. 23rd. So we did pull off the top 30 on the stage after spending the whole day in the breakaway reaching the total exhaustion getting a little brief recovery luckily it was a gentle descent towards the finish that last 10k i think that was the decisive moment for me otherwise i would have been dropped by the peloton first breakaway of length so i get some bonus xp on the day and a very good overall for the day itself adds another 14 points but we're still a little ways off of level six Plus four today is going to be huge because, well, we've got a KOM to defend, and it is the assignment for the day. So we are trying to get clear here early on in this one and open up a pretty healthy gap, 43 seconds ahead of the peloton at the moment. We're going to go ahead and use up that red bar and now ease off a little bit, but not ease off too much because I want to push on. Now, theoretically, we have three Cat 1s, the finishing climb included, a cat two and a cat three getting first over the first two climbs may be enough may be enough to win the classification or at least retain the lead following today stage four sprint stage there's not going to be a lot of climbs involved in that so uh, today is the key key moment here there's three of us at the front right now. I would love to have it still be just the three of us when we get to the top, but I, I don't see that happening. In fact, already we're at seven now, so uh, I don't see anybody here that has 
points in the classification already, as far as I know, though Rossetto could be defending for his teammate. No, no points at all in the seven. And I have a teammate, Bergadau, coming up behind us, 42 seconds back there. Uh, I wouldn't be opposed to him joining up. Now, I still have to go for this climb. I need these points, but I can't go full on because we've got that category one just after and uh, well I suspect we'll get some recovery on the descent I doubt that it's going to be a ton okay okay attacking a little bit harder and first over the top okay okay first over the top 10 points we're now at 28 and starting to open a pretty healthy gap. By the way, these Cat 1s today obviously is going to be a pretty big deal. Cat 1s are 16 for first place, meaning if you go over the top of these two, there's 32 points. So we are not in the clear yet, but Bergadau is now here and he gets team leader status. He's not here working for me. I'm working for him. All right. Well, the recovery part has happened. The Cat 1, hopefully we're far enough away. The Peloton is not going to chase us hard enough that the climb is not too bad. And I can save myself for the attack. And with the race day condition and with the bonus plus 4 to my mountain, I think we might just about be able to uh, climb well enough to get through this thing. We are almost fully recovered now. We're up to 12, 15 riders. Jeez, that's a healthy amount of riders. Uh, we are 225 over the Peloton, so I think the gap is just big enough. I mean, 70 effort for 7.5K is pretty doable. But we're having to push even harder right now, and we're dropping riders already. 6K. Push a little bit harder. Somebody's riding hard, trying to thin this group out. Now they've eased off a little bit. We're at 13, 5K. Now again, they ease off a little bit. They're accelerating whenever they can though. 4K. Looks like I'll be okay to contest, maybe. <laughs> The energy is low, but it's not nil. Two and a half K, up that effort. It'll push me forward just naturally without digging too deep. Two and a half K, down to 12 by the way. Two K, not yet time to attack, but it's definitely time to get to the front of this thing. And we're out front. It's instantly putting a hurting in on my own legs. One and a half K to go. Here comes the attack. Still 1k to go. Okay, 700 meters. Now we want to attack. I don't care if I have nothing left at the finish line. It looks like I just got blocked off a little bit. And we are only going to be fourth over the top on that one. But it still extends our points. But I got squeezed. I very much got squeezed there when I had a nice little opening. I was looking about third wheel, got squeezed, dropped me back, had to come around the other side. And as I came through, I only got back to fourth on that. Uh, down to 11 riders. Should be around to contest the Cat 3 upcoming, so that's good. Chance for more points. For now, we sit on and recover after that effort and during this descent. Broke it down, not working, because I'm here and he's leader. And he barely made it up, so I'm not sure what the deal is. Recovery is done, so let's go ahead and prepare to contribute once again. Some team managers mustn't appreciate the fact Couldn't that there get is a water. given that the pack has increased its speed. Be a good teammate. There you go. And we're back in and riding. Sprint point upcoming. Speed on past that. 
So 11 riders here. Peloton is three minutes behind, by the way, after the uh, attack at the top of the climb there. Open that gap up a bit. Through the sprint point, nobody bothering. Gap holding at 220. Plenty to stay out for this Cat 3. It's only six points, but I would love to get these six points. I had to attack pretty late because we didn't have a lot of energy left, and that left me vulnerable because, you know, there was a couple guys ahead of me, and then I got squeezed. So hopefully this time we can stay out front. Last time I came through to the front a little sooner than I wanted to, and this time we end up finishing our turn and going to the back, right at the base of the climb, which is certainly not where I want to be on that one either. Oh, Colombo with the puncture. He's out. Down to 10. 3k to go. Not steep. Push harder. I want to get forward. 2k. Okay, now really getting forward. 1.5k. And ready to attack. Here we go. Ooh, oh, that just dipped into my red bar way too fast. But we are second. We are second. So there you go. At 40 points now. Which is enough. That is enough if, well, Ivan Sosa is 30 back. It's not quite enough yet. Sosa is very capable of getting 32 points on those two climbs. Back together, by the way, 11 riders. Back out to three minutes. It would be very nice to still be around for the next climb and literally put everything into trying to be around for that and not getting dropped but we'll see what the gaps are like. I'm not sure we're gonna have what it takes, <laughs> what it takes to partake in the next climb. Too big, too steep, too late in the stage where the tempo is gonna be too high. For now we sit on and play recovery a little bit. Well, I'm recovered, but it's the conserve energy part. Otherwise we're dipping into that max. We've done what we came to do today. Now it's bonus. And with only two minutes, it's not like we're going to win this stage from here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, buddy. I just wasted some energy on that because I didn't roll down. <laughs> I was just sitting on. Not realizing that there was a hearty acceleration there that uh, definitely took some oomph out of me. Just over two minutes is the gap to the peloton. That's probably not enough compared to an Ivan Sosa and his, I don't know, 79, 80 mountain rating compared to my 67. I might have the hills, but I definitely do not have the mountain. Doesn't mean we won't try. All in for this climb, but already not looking good. Already down to half strength with the max and then well, what we're down to so far, and we're just now getting into the steep parts, 7%, and still 11k to go. Setting on for a while, down to a 40 second advantage, 33 second advantage, and struggling to keep up right now. And my choice of Effort up did not succeed, but the group's already been caught anyway, so down to 43 in the peloton, and I'm out of energy. I figured that was going to be much too much for us. Ferron going strong. Last 20 riders. The F for front group is uh, behind us, so whoever the yellow jersey wearer is is uh, losing that one today. Yeah, Ferron's still in the front group, but looking pretty dang weak. I'm guessing in that front group, yeah, we can't see, but guessing in that front group, you're going to see uh, ooh, Michael Storer trying to attack. He does have some points, I think. Gotta watch out for that one. We'll see. Keep an eye out on how we're doing in this KOM here shortly. As the front group's about to reach top. I'm now in the peloton. There's the yellow jersey. No. Some riders were not giving it their all and sharing the pace. 
There it is, Storer down on 20 points. We have a 20 point advantage. And no addition of points for uh, Sosa. Let's hope he wins the stage then and gets that bonus. Well, or somebody with no points at this point. At this point in time. But Storer out front. Let's hope he does not claim the points on the, the final climb by winning the stage. As he's the obvious threat to us at the moment. Besides Sosa. But Sosa, this is going to be all the points he gets. He's not going to get more points in this. So Sosa, go for it. Just don't let it be Storer. Final 8k. For us, finishing group, getting a bit closer. 5k to go now. Yeah, we should see the finishing line here in a moment. Guglielmi has won the stage. Storer did take second. That's going to be interesting. 1k to go. I'm not going to get any points. We're outside of the top 20, so that part's decided. Uh, Prades also picks up a decent amount of points. Ferron got sixth, so he he did well. That's going to help him maintain maybe a top five in the GC. For me, 37th on the stage. Wow, that's actually really impressive. Decent race day condition goes a long way, doesn't it? I have no idea what happened. Minus five race day condition is one thought. A crash is another thought. But Sosa finished just a minute ahead of us in 33rd on the stage. So Ferron is fifth. Sosa falls to 23rd. Bergadau's 37th. I am 62nd overall, 20 minutes down. And I do still have the KOM lead store at 32 points is 8 behind. Guglielmi gets to 30. And that might do it. I have an 8 point advantage. We'll have to see what stage 4 offers in terms of climbs as I have not looked at the profile. Final stage and we have not clinched the King of the Mountains jersey yet. But we're on the verge. There is two cat three climbs and that's it for the stage i'm in the breakaway yet again and the assignment on winning the kom is i have an eight point advantage over storer everybody else is too far back with six points available on each of the two climbs that adds up to 12 store is still in it mathematically as we have 3k to go till that first climb but i among 11 riders and the only one from this group that has any chance at the jersey and everybody else says I'm gonna go ahead and start attacking now a little bit further back here yes but uh, I don't even care if I actually win I just want to be making sure that I'm still in this thing I'm one of two going away Barta going away with me and we do go over the top first so it's clinched it's done mathematically it is now ours it was already looking likely because store wasn't here in the group and wasn't going to catch us but you know you want to go for it you wear the jersey you go for it uh, but anyway dang Arta and I have opened a bit of a gap haven't we <laughs> meanwhile store right it wasn't going to catch us anyway but the main thing now is getting to the end of the stage and not bonking out or crashing out of this thing we just have to finish in one piece, but with 56k to go and a somewhat healthy two-man break at the moment, uh, we will continue on. But of course, my minus sixes on stamina and resistance is not going to help me reach the finish of this stage terribly well. Probably would have been better off setting up and, and letting the rest of the break come back to me because two-minute advantage there is a little bit healthier. But it's fine. We'll, we'll, it's not like we're in the GC situation. It's not like we would have been winning the stage after being in the break for a good chunk of the day. So theoretically, our better 
chance, our better hopes, is going all in and getting the last KOM and, you know, having fun in that manner. Twenty second advantage over the secondary break. Twelve K to go till the top of the KOM and Barta sat up. And it's paying off. We are getting a little bit of recovery in. 7.5k. Peloton split in half. 120 is the advantage. Thirty K. Four K to the KOM. Attacking here is gonna destroy my chances of anything. Let's not attack. Oh. Okay, fine. You guys attack. Not nice. Down to eight. Group split in half. They use the opportunity to uh thin things out for run plus five today nice only a minute behind us and now just 33 riders in the peloton but i have no energy 50 seconds back and i'm gonna get dropped last proper hill of the day Ooh, back in it okay nice but not recovering Right on the edge, anyway. Little bitty yellow bar. Back in the peloton. And that's all back together, too. I Minute mean, 130 riders, 6K to go. There is the last short hill of the day. But I have nothing left for the finish. 4K to go. Final 2K. Heading for that finish line and heading for our first ever jersey. King of the Mountains. He can thank his teammates who let him out in perfect condition. Nice. Happy with that. I'm very happy with that. Venturini has claimed the stage. Gorka Izagira. <laughs> Izagira brothers. Where have, what's happened to them? <laughs> they were they were starting to become big names. I mean, they were almost as big as the Yates brothers, and you never hear from them anymore. 25 point bonus for winning the jersey, 21 points from the team on that final evaluation. Didn't get us a level, but my oh my, we made a lot of progress in those four stages in a race that looked like it really didn't suit us. And all of that came down to the simple fact that on stage number one, while playing the teammate role, we simply cruised across the first KOM with no challengers first. And it was just enough points, with four of us equal on points at the end of the day, that I crossed the first point, I got to wear the jersey. And as a result, completely changed the profile for what the race meant to the team and to us we came away winning that jersey we came away with a lot of bonus xp as a result and i don't know about you but it's a lot more fun to be active than just teammate 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 all the time but hey you, you gotta work your way up right in real life that takes many years not half a season so uh, it's all good it's all good but continuing to progress continuing to earn some points things are going well that's going to do it for this episode though i'm kathleen gamer like comment subscribe and i'll see you next time have a good one be safe out there bye for now